everyone, it is Robo of the Panda, and I'm actually going to teach everyone today how to go ahead and make your own character in 7 Days to Die, and their awesome, awesome new, very awaited update, especially by my wife, one of their biggest fans probably. <laughs> this game has went from the ground up on Steam. It is one of the fastest evolving games I have actually ever saw work its way up. And they have added player profiles. I haven't done this yet. Oh. <laughs> that is terrifying. <laughs> so, this basically allows you to create your own character in any way imaginable. As far as I can know, because of course this dude can have the bulkiest chest available and the skinniest legs possible. So, let's go ahead and edit this. Let's see. We have a rainbow of skin colors, guys. It, even, it goes the widest of the white to the darkest of the dark. So that's pretty nice. We even got some reds going in there. So you should be happy with that. Um, upper muscle. Let's, oh. <laughs> oh, oh, arm links. Oh, that is scary. Oh, oh, okay, we have to do this now. Look at that. That is, like, the scariest. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it horrifying. Let's see. No, no, no. Okay, okay, there we, there we go. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just uh, give me a second here. I love it. I love it when games <laughs> give you the option to make it as terrifying as you could possibly want it. Who doesn't love that? And it even has a separate thing for the head. Okay, so let's see if we can get his body actually proportioned right. Uh, Alright, let's let's get his teeny weeny little arms. <laughs> I, uh, I knew this was going to be fun. I had to do a, a playthrough for this because I am awesome at building characters, as we can so far tell. Oh, yeah. Just totally do Sims. No, I'm not going to do that. I would not make anyone sit through that. Okay. Uh, my arms go down to about my knees. So we're going to leave it at that. Uh, upper weight. Moderate. Let's, let's make everything. In the medium size and see what happens. Okay, so that's not bad. That's that. That's the he. He's portioned right, but there's a few things we have to work on. Um, let's see. My elbows go down to my. Ow! I just hit the mic. That actually hurt my finger. Sorry, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Um. Let's try to. Let's try to. Her. I wonder if there's any way I can adjust where the knees are. It's the only thing that's bothering me. They're way down there. No one's calf is on <laughs> that little tiny thing. Okay. But that's okay. I'm not going to complain with that. But his chest is a bit... I can see proportion-wise that they still need to work on this a little. But I mean, it's, it's not that bad. I've seen so much worse. Besides, they have... They spent, like, a long time on this. And they did it like I, like when I when they first announced that they were gonna do this, I expected them to have like you know how and like the old old Sims you would be able to kind of pick like have presets basically. Oh wow, the the girls look nice. The girls are nice. That's a plus size. I mean plus right. <laughs> but the males. Uh, something about the upper chest. But nonetheless, they're not that bad. Which is always a good thing. But no, they totally, they like, totally went out of the water. And they did amazing. Like, they could have not done better. For the time they did this on. It was, it was, it was awesome. Okay, I think that looks... Kind of proportioned right. Okay, let's go ahead... Let's mess with the head. And we can scroll in and... Oh. Oh, my. Okay, eye color. 
Alright. So it's pretty customizable. Okay, 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 I'm, I can see those. Let's see, what, let's see what color hairs they have. Oh, wait a second. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. That is totally, okay, that might be my hairstyle, guys. Unless they have a mullet. No, I'm joking. I would never do that. Maybe. Okay. So there's one, two, three, four, uh, five? Yeah, there's like four or five. So personally, I think that's pretty nice, but I'm going to go ahead and make him bald because that's what I do when I make characters. Oh, his face is terrifying. He has the world's loveliest nose going on right now. And his eyes are so enchanting. They enthrall. Oh. His nose is like a black hole ready to suck in anything that goes near it. <laughs> okay, let's do what I always do. Let's make these kind of even. In the middle. In the middle. Besides that one. That's terrifying. You see? His head's proportioned, right? Okay. We'll leave that there because any bigger, it'll probably scare me. Okay, so all this. <laughs> all this is in the middle. So this is pretty cool. It's got a lot going on. And I'm probably going to give him elf ears because why not? If you watch, if I do any more playthroughs when I make my people, they will always have white hair, white eyes, and elf ears. Don't know why. Actually, I do know why, but that's not important. So his eyes are fixed now, sort of. There's a little bit left. And that's good. But now I guess I, need, I want to fix his open mouth and his nose. Besides that, I don't really care. I am kind of concerned that the stubble action is going on there. I really wish I could get rid of that. But the reality is, zombie apocalypse, I think the last thing anyone's going to think about is, can I shave my neck? Like, seriously. So, let's see. Nose, nose, nose. Head size. Four head size. Ear size. Cheek size. I like his cheeks are fine. Nose. I don't, oh. I should go with Nabink now. No, I did not say that. I'm so sorry. Alright, so moderately, moderate, that's, that's, I think that's kind of okay. Nose inclination. Alright, so that's like kind of like the rotation of it. There we go. Let. <laughs> oh, you're gorgeous, honey. Let no one tell you otherwise. In the middle. That's great. That's all we can do with his nose, unfortunately. His nose is terrifying. Maybe if I draw it out a little bit more. I don't know. It's not getting any better. Oh, crap. Alright. That's not too bad. Let's see if I can do something with those lips. Jaw size. Oh. McDonald's fan. Chin size. I don't like pointy chins. Nah, in the middle. I don't know why everything that's in the middle just works. Ear position. I kind of need that to be all the way up because what I'm going to do with the ears. Cheek. There we go. Oh, wait. We'll give him some cheeks. No. Oh, nose curve. Oh, awesome. Nose position. There we go, he looks a little better. So eye size. We're gonna give him the appropriate eyes. Mouth size, ew. Alright, alright, alright. Mandible, oh, okay, that brings in. It makes him have an overbite. There we go, that looks good. A draw position. Let's bring that jaw forward. That looks good. 
I got this. I got this. Everyone is going to want to play as you when I get over there. All right. Okay, irritation. Width. Oh, okay. Oh, I get it. As you go across, it kind of branches out. Oh, that's helpful. See, I told you I was going to give them elevators. I told you. No one listens. You're not going to give them elevators. Well, you would never do Yes, Yes, I would. I would give him elevators. <laughs> okay, so then... So this is the eye, eye rotation. I'm guessing this is supposed to be down here. But they got a nice thing going. So beggars can't be choosers, right? Right, right, right. Okay. So it's going it's not going to do too bad. Okay. So nose width. It's still Slightly horrifying. It's not so bad from the side. But it's just this. The bridge. And unfortunately there's no nothing really for the nose bridge yet to push it in. But it's alright. We'll make do. Okay, um back to the eyes. Eye rotation. What is that do? Nothing. Watch out. Well. Can I get it to go? There we go. Perfect. Uh, alright. Mouth size is fine. Mandible. What did it say? Oh yeah, the bottom. Alright. So let's get back to hair. The jet black needs some working. It's like the jet jet black. I'm probably gonna give him white hair <laughs> or a blonde hair. But let's see. Yep, slick back white. There we go. Facial hair. I don't like mustaches and beards. So there we go, and then we're gonna name him Zero because uh, I'm only known by Rover by the channel, but I go around and everyone calls me Zero. So there we go. I said um, they're also in game. There's also a lot of cool features. So check out my playthrough of Seven Days to Die, which will be coming up shortly, or I've already have it out. Who knows? But when you're watching this, thanks a lot. And I think he doesn't look half bad. Thanks for joining me, guys. Bye.